we we want to thank God for this evening. We thank God for keeping us alive. Uh, despite all that is happening around us, God has been faithful. He's been a wonderful God, marvelous God, unchangeable God. Uh, tonight, we have come to spend some time together to pray. And I want to assure you that tonight, as we cry unto God, the Almighty God will hear us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to take away any distraction around you because as we seek the face of God tonight, the God that we serve during this season of fasting and prayer, he will hear us, he will answer us, and none of us will be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to close our eyes and begin to worship God, begin to exalt him, begin to magnify him, Say, Daddy, I thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for how you started with me this year. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. This season of mercy, I thank you. Thank you for showing me mercy. Thank you for your mercy over my life, over my wife, over my children, over your church, over our pastor, over this continent, Middle East. Let's just worship him. Let's exalt him. Let's thank him that we are alive. There are many that slept yesterday. They are not alive. But God has kept you. God has preserved you. Just worship him. Just exalt him. Lift up your heart. Bless his holy name. Worship him. Glorify him. Show a sign of gratitude to the almighty God. Every time we come together, we cry to him, he hears us, we call upon him, he show forth himself. Just thank him. Say, Daddy, I thank you. Thank you. Call your wife, call your children together and lift up your hands and say, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for your mercy over us in this family. Thank you for your mercy over my life. Thank you for your mercy over your church. Thank you for your mercy, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, just worship him, exalt him. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my sister. Mommy and daddy, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender to the Almighty God and say, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. I thank you. I worship you. I exalt you. What an awesome God you are. What a glorious God you are. You have been our Ebenezer. You have been our Jehovah. You have been our, uh, our creator, our helper. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you. Worship him, worship him. Just lift up your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you that I'm alive. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for making a way where there seems there is no way. Thank you when all hope is gone. You have always been there for me, O oh God. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Despite what I'm going through, I yield myself unto you. I surrender all to you, O oh God, because you are the owner, the captain of my soul, the shepherd of my life. The one that know it tomorrow. Lord, I yield everything to you tonight. I thank you, Daddy. I thank you, my Savior. I thank you, my Redeemer. I thank you, the unchangeable God. The one that never sleep while I'm sleeping. The captain of my soul, I thank you. The maker of my life, I thank you. The giver of good health, I thank you for my health. The giver of life, I thank you that I'm alive. I worship you, I exhort you, I give you all glory. Bless him, bless him. Let's just bless his holy name. Thank him for all he's doing, for all he's going to do tonight, for the great and mighty things God is going to do in our midst tonight. Let's just thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him. Let's worship him. 
Let's magnify him. Let's exalt his holy name. Tell him how great he is. Tell him how wonderful he is. Tell him that he's your savior. Glorify him. Glorify him. Just dance before him and worship him and say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, what a glorious God you are. What a wonderful God you are. What a marvelous God you are. Bless his holy name. My soul, my heart, my body, my hands, my head, my everything. Give glory to your name. Give honor to your name. Oh, Daddy, I thank you. Hello, him. Hello, him. Worship him. Exalt his holy name. Bless his holy name. Thank him with all of your heart, my brother. If you want to dance, dance before him and say, Lord, I thank you. That I can dance, I thank you. That I can walk, I thank you. That I'm alive, I thank you. This is the month of February, the month of double portion. Just thank him, just thank him. Just worship his holy name. Give him glory, give him honor. That even though situation seems difficult, I believe that tomorrow will be better. My tomorrow will be better. I believe that God you will make a way where there seems to be no way. I believe, oh God, that tonight you are going to show mercy unto me. You are going to open heaven unto me. Worship him, my brother. Praise him, praise him. Just give glory to him. Give honor to him. I magnify his holy name. Show gratitude to the almighty God. Just bless him, thank him. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. Oh, how excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. How beautiful, how beautiful is your name. Oh Lord. Worship you, my brother. How beautiful is your name. Oh Lord. How beautiful, how beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. Oh Lord, how beautiful, how beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. Oh, Lord Jehovah, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high. Unchangeable, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. Invisible, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. Captain of my soul, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. My Savior, you are the most high. Worship him. Hallelujah, you are the most high. My Redeemer, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. My Captain, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high God. I praise you, I praise you, oh Lord. Just worship him. I praise him, I praise you, I praise you, oh Lord. In my life, I see what you are doing one more time. I lift my voice in prayer of your name. I lift my voice in prayer of your name. Let's praise him. I praise you, oh Lord. I praise you, oh, oh Lord. Let's praise him. I praise you. I praise you. 
Oh Lord, in my life, I see what you are doing one more time. I lift my voice in prayer of your name. I lift my voice in prayer of your name. One more time, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. Unchangeable, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. My Savior, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. My Redeemer, you are the most high. Worship Him. Hallelujah, you are the most high. God. My Captain, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. God. My Provider, you are the most high. Hallelujah, you are the most high. God. Who is wonderful is Jesus. Who is marvelous is Jesus. Who is wonderful is Jesus. Who is marvelous is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, hey, blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna, hey, blessed be the rock. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Who is wonderful is Jesus. Hallelujah is Jesus. Who is marvelous is Jesus. Hallelujah is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Worship him, worship him, my brother. Worship him, my sister. Just lift up your voice and begin to thank this God. Begin to worship him. All he wants from us is to praise him, is to magnify him, is to show our gratitude to him. Just worship him. Just exhort him. Thank him. Thank him. Magnify his holy name. Because of what God is going to do tonight, because of what God is already doing for you and your family, for our church in this region, just worship him, just exalt him. Tell him, tell him how good he is. Tell him how glorious he is. Tell him and say, Daddy, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you, I exalt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we thank you for who you are. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for what you are set to do in this prayer meeting tonight. Thank you because I believe in my heart, as we have been waiting and praying and seeking your face, that you are going to do something glorious to everyone that is tuning to this service this evening, that their life will never remain the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, as many that are listening to me, wherever they are, maybe there are people that are sick, listening to me right now, I command that sickness to heal and, and set you free totally in the name of Jesus Christ. Are there are people that are having headache, or they are having one sickness or the other, or they are in their sick bed right now, I speak to you right now, wherever you are, that the healing balm of the Lord Jesus we make you free and give you a divine health in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for that brother or that sister that I'm sister, all hope is gone and he doesn't know what to do. But he said, I'm going to tune into this service tonight. My father, I pray for that individual that right now as he's listening to the voice coming from the throne of grace, I pray that mercy will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. When people have turned you down, I decree tonight that they will call you back before the end of this month in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, I want you to share up. Sister, I want you to share up. 
because the God of, that we are serving is going to locate you and bring solution to that problem that you are going through right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for that brother that the visa is finished and you are worried that what is going to happen to me. My God, my Father, I pray for that brother that before the end of this month, oh God, you will make a way for that brother in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, my Father, for that family that have nothing to eat and they are just listening to me right now as I speak. Father, you have done it for many people before. I pray for that home that before the end of this week, they will bring food to your house in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that from east, north, west, and south, you will be located and they will bring food to your door house. They will knock at your door in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray tonight, O oh God, as many that are listening to me from east, west, north, south, I pray that mercy will locate every one of all in this season of mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Unexpected miracle, O oh God, I pray that in this month of February, it will locate every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I pray tonight, more than our expectation, I ask you, oh God, that you will do for us tonight, Daddy, in the name of Jesus Christ. That at the end of this prayer meeting tonight, we shall say how wonderful you have visited us. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. For the short moment that is before us, I'm going to be looking at a Bible passage that is very common. Very common to all of us. We know it. We read it all the time. Even while we were very small, our parents, they used to open that psalm, they put it on our head, and they read it to us so many times. And that is why tonight I want to share that Bible passage with you. And I believe that the God Almighty that we serve, it will open your eyes to something that you have never seen before tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't want you to be nonchalant about this message tonight. I don't want you to feel that, oh, of course I know it. I don't want you to feel that, of course I read it all the time. I want you to tune in and understand to what God has for us tonight. And as we look at this Bible passage, we're going to then spend some time to pray because this is the season of fasting and prayer. And that is why I really want us to spend time to pray. And as we pray and seek the face of God, the Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus Christ. This Bible passage is very, very interesting to me. I love reading it. And every time I read it, God speaks in different way to me. And I pray tonight it will speak to you as well in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to open your Bible with me to Psalm, 20, Psalm 23. That is why I said that it's a very common pa Bible passage. I want you to open up your Bible with me. We're going to read verse 1, verse 2, and verse 4 together. So take your Bible with me. If you have it on your phone, I want you to open to Psalm 23. And I want everybody to come together and we are going to read it together. One, two, three. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh my God. I shall not want. I want you to breathe your chest and say, I shall not want. I shall not want. And it doesn't go for it. He said, He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth. He said, He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Verse 4. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. What did He say there? He said, I will fear no evil. Can I hear amen to that? Amen. He said, I will fear no evil. Why? Because for thou art with me, thy rod and the staff, they comfort me. The Almighty God will comfort someone here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. 
David says here is a psalm of David. It was a psalm that was written by David when he was going through a troublous time. A time that he doesn't even know how to describe it. He doesn't even know what to do. The Philistines were there, both left and right. He was almost giving up. He doesn't even know what to do. And suddenly, he sat down. He remembered the greatness of God. He remembered the magnificent God that we serve. That God is so great. God is so mighty. He remembered that this was the God that made him to, de to defeat Goliath. And that is why he take a step back. And he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And you too, my brother, you need to remember this tonight. If you are a child of God, remember, God will always be your shepherd in the name of Jesus Christ. And it might seem that things look so difficult in this pandemic situation. But God is sending a word to you, to that family, as he has revealed to us. That family that has nothing to eat. That he, the God of heaven and earth, he will provide for you, he will supply your need in the name of Jesus Christ. We read in verse 2, he said, He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside what? The still water. He maketh me to lie down. When you lie down in the green pasture, a green pasture is somewhere that is fertile, somewhere that is so full of man, man, manure, and, and there is a still, there is a calmness in such an environment. And that is why David remember the greatness of God. And I want you also to take a step back. Remember how many times God has fought battle for you. Remember how many times God has shown forth for you. And that is why David can say categorically, boldly, that God is my shepherd. Tonight, no matter what you are going through, I have a good news for you, my brothers and sisters. God will be your shepherd in the name of Jesus Christ. We remember who is a shepherd. A shepherd is somebody that is guiding the sheep. And our God is our shepherd, is our guidance, is our protector, is the maker of our soul, is the protector of our life. And that is why David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I want you to remember that God is your shepherd. Let's look at the book of Isaiah very quickly. Isaiah chapter 40. And let us also see what a shepherd does. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. A shepherd. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. He said here, He shall feed his flock like a what? Like a shepherd. He shall gather the lamb with his hand and carry them in his what? In his bosom. And he shall gently lead those that are with what? With young. That is what God can do. The Lord said that he shall feed, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. A shepherd feed the flock. A shepherd take care of the little ones. A shepherd take care of the laity, the little, little ones. That is what a shepherd does. And that is what God can do, my brothers and sisters, provided you are a child of God, provided you are born again, provided you know him and you are on the Lord's side. That is what God can do. God can feed you irrespective of the situation that you are going through. God can take care of you irrespective of your situation. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And let's also look at Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, very quickly before we start to pray. Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm going to read very quickly verse 11 also. And let's see what God says here. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I, even now, will both search my sheep, and I will seek them out. For thus says the Lord God, when God is saying something, remember it's not man, 
this is God talking. He said, for thus says the Lord, behold, I, even now, I will both search, search my sheep, I will seek them out. God will seek you out. In that situation you are going through, God will single you out and make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, as we go before the Lord, what is that situation that seems so difficult? Tonight, as we cry to the shepherd, as we look upon the shepherd, the shepherd will make a way for us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to be your shepherd. The Lord will be your maker. The Lord will help you and will sort you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to rise up. Rise up, rise up, gather everybody together and say, this is the time for us to pray. Begin to thank the Lord and say, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you are my shepherd, you are my shepherd, you are my shepherd. You are my shepherd, the Lord is 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 my shepherd. Begin to thank him, begin to worship him, begin to exhort him, begin to... Give him glory, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration, give him all praises because it's your shepherd, it's going to make a way for you, it's going to sort you out in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to say, Father, say it after me, Father, I release my life from any bondage that is not making me to move forward. Pray that prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I release my life. I release my life from any bondage that is not making me to move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that prayer. Brother, make sure you are praying. This is the time to pray. Sister, make sure you are praying. Don't let anything distract you. Begin to pray. God, I release my life. I release my life. Mention your name and say, I release myself, Gabriel Oshaw, out of any bondage. That is not making me to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release my life. I release my life from every bondage, every bondage, every bondage that is not making me to move forward. That is not making me to move forward. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says in verse 2, says, He maketh me to lie down a great pasture. You are going to pray and say, Father, say it loudly, Father. Anything that is taking me out of your great pasture for my life, from my home, for this region, Father, destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not making me to move to my right position, to my greener pasture, that is holding me back and taking me to another position, that is not making me to move to the right position that you have made for me, Father, today, today, destroy them. Brother, pray, 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 pray. Tell God to destroy them. Tell God to destroy them. Anything, anything, anything that is not making you to move forward, that is not allowing you to get to where God has planned for you. I want you to begin to pray. Lord tonight, Lord tonight, Lord tonight, Lord tonight. Remove them, remove them. Anything, anything, oh God, anything, oh God. Father, remove them. Father, remove them. Father, remove them. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, the Bible made us to also understand in the book of Psalm 25, it said, Unto thee I will lift up my eyes, for my trust is in thee. My trust is in thee. Say to yourself, I say, God, my trust is in you. Oh God, my trust is in you. I will not be ashamed. I will not be put to shame. My trust is in you. And as you put your trust in the Lord, the Lord himself will make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, raise up your two hands, raise up your two hands. Oh Lord, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, reorganize my life to receive your multiple blessing in this year 2021. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Oh God, reorganize my life. Holy Spirit, reorganize my life. My Savior, reorganize my life, reorganize my home, reorganize my family, reorganize your church, reorganize our church, our ministers, our pastor that we may receive your blessing in this year 2021. Father, I pray tonight. I pray tonight. Oh God, reorganize, oh God. Reorganize my life. Reorganize my life. 
Reorganize my life, O God. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Reorganize me, O God. Reorganize me, O God, so that I will receive your blessing. Brother, make sure you are praying. This is a time to pray. Don't joke with the enemy. Don't joke with the devil. Pray and tell God. Say, Father, reorganize my life. Reorganize my life. Reorganize my home. Reorganize my children. Reorganize everything about me that I may receive your blessing in this year 2021. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 23, verse, I mean, verse 4 of Psalm 23 say, Yo, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are going to pray this prayer. That no matter this pandemic that is going left and right, it will not come near you. Pray that prayer. Ah, Baba, don't let it come near me. Don't let it come near me. Don't let it come near my home. Don't let it come near my children. Don't let it come near my husband. Don't let it come near any of our church members. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. I will fear no evil. God, I will fear no evil. That no matter this pandemic, it will not come near us. It will not come near us. It will not come near us. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say, Oh Lord. Say it after me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let me have favor in your sight. Ah, pray that prayer. Oh my God. Brother, pray that prayer. My sister, pray that prayer. Lord, I need favor from your side. I need favor from your side. Oh, Baba, show me your favor. Favor me in every area of my life. Favor my home. Favor my children. Favor my wife. Favor my husband. Favor your church. Favor us in your sight, oh God. In every area, oh God. Baba, favor us. Holy Ghost, favor us. Savior, favor us. Don't let us be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let us be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let me be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let us be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let us be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray that prayer. Keep on praying. Keep on praying, my brother. Keep on praying, my brother. Keep on praying, my sister, that I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame in your sight, oh God. Daddy, don't let me be put to shame in your sight, oh God. My father, don't let me be put to shame in your sight, oh God. My Savior, don't let me be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray tonight, 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 don't let me be put to shame. Don't let us be put to shame, oh God. Don't let us be put to shame. 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 In the name of Jesus, I pray for myself. Don't let me be put to shame. Don't let us be put to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to open your Bible with me. Open your Bible with me very quickly as we continue our prayer. The book of Galatians. Galatians, very quickly. Galatians. Galatians, the book of Galatians, chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, I'm going to read from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, I read from verse 13. For Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for us, for it is written, cause is everyone that anger on a tree. Verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile, through who? Through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through what? Through faith. We are going to pray this prayer and say, Lord, say, Lord, let your counter movement work against every deadly root, rooted problem in my life. Lord, 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 let your counter movement work against every deeply rooted problem in my whatever problem that is working against you 
Let the hands of God, let it uproot them. Let it uproot them. Let it uproot them. Let it uproot them. Whatever the problem that is working against your life, as it has been written, Christ has redeemed us from every cause. Whatever the cause, whatever the cause that is rising against your home, that is rising against your life, begin to pray to God. God, tonight, 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 tonight. Oh God, uproot them. Oh God, uproot them. Oh God, uproot them. Oh God, uproot them. Let God uproot them. Let God uproot them. Let God uproot them. Right from the root, right from the root. Holy Ghost, uproot them. Holy Ghost, uproot them. I don't want them to remain in my life. This is a time of warfare prayer. Begin to pray that prayer. Oh God, uproot them. As it has written, oh God, Father, remove them. Father, remove them. Redeem me from every cause. Redeem me from every cause. Redeem me from every cause. Every cause that has been pronounced over my life, over my children, over my husband, over my wife. Father, redeem us. Holy Ghost, redeem us. Holy Ghost, redeem us. Holy Ghost, redeem us. Holy Ghost, redeem us. Redeem us, O God, over our church in this continent, over your ministers in this parish. Father, redeem us, O God. Father, redeem us, O God. Father, deliver us, O God. Total deliverance. Total deliverance from every cause. Every cause from the enemy that has been pronounced against my life that I'm not going to move forward. Father, redeem me. Deliver me totally. O God, deliver me totally. Father, redeem me. Redeem me from every cause. From every cause that has been set to my generation, to my destiny. Father, redeem me tonight. God, redeem me tonight. Oh, God, deliver me to that in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, make sure you are praying. Sister, make sure you are praying. Lift that phone. Lift that phone. Begin to keep on praying. Keep on praying. Oh, God, redeem me to that. Oh, God, redeem me to that. Holy Ghost, redeem me to that. Holy Ghost, redeem me to that. Deliver me to that from every cause, from every pronouncement from the enemy against my life that I will not move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. That when I get to the edge of my breakthrough, something will take it from me. Oh, God, redeem me to that. Oh God, redeem me tonight. Baba, redeem me tonight. Holy Ghost, redeem me tonight. Savior, redeem me tonight. Oh God, redeem me tonight. Don't allow me to cry. Don't allow the enemy to laugh at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, redeem me tonight. Oh God, redeem me tonight. Whatever the causes that has been pronounced against my life, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I come against you tonight. I come against you tonight. I'm not taking anything for granted. I come against you tonight. Brother, pray that prayer. Come against them. Come against them. Every curse that has been pronounced against your life. Say, God, tonight, we must redeem you. I will not allow you to go. You must redeem me tonight. Oh, Lord, redeem me tonight. Savior, redeem me tonight. Deliver me, oh God, tonight. Deliver me, oh God, that cause that I will not move forward. Tonight, I redeem myself. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that is in the blood, I redeem myself. By the power that is in the blood, I am delivered. By the power that is in the blood, I am set free. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. As we are praying that prayer, God lays a song in my heart. I want you to sing that song. By the, I'll uh, sing it with boldness, sing it with joy, sing it with, with, the, with the fact that you are delivered tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you sing it, you will see God performing his miracle in your life. And you will put your right hand on your head and you will begin to sing that song. As you are singing, you will be dancing and put the enemy to shame. Because God is working something for your favor. God is taking you to your next level in this month of February. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered by His word. Once I was bound by the shame of Satan, I am delivered, praise the Hallelujah. I am delivered, praise the Sing it with joy. I am delivered by His word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, I am delivered, praise the Hallelujah. I am delivered, praise the oh, Hallelujah. I am delivered by His word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, 
I am the liver, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I am the liver, praise the Lord. I am the liver by his word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, I am the liver, praise the Lord. Touch that pain, I am the liver, praise the Lord. Touch that pain. I am delivered by his word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, I am delivered, praise the Lord. Demonstrate it. I am delivered, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am delivered by his word. Once I was bound by the chain of Satan, I am delivered, praise the Lord. Sing it as a family. We are delivered, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are delivered by his word. Once we were bound by the chain of Satan, we are delivered, praise the Lord. As you confess it, my brothers and sisters, so it will be for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to hold on your faith to now because God is working something in your home. God is working something for your family. God is working something ahead of you. Every shame that the enemy has bound you with, tonight we are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Those shame will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the shame, chain of poverty, chain of not moving forward, chain of stagnation, chain of not even knowing what to do tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus, you are delivered. I said you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say to me, say it right now, I break the hands of procrastination. I break the hands of problem over my life, over my family in the name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. I break it, I break it. Every problem that doesn't have solution, I break you tonight. Because I serve the living God, I break you tonight. Break them, my brother. Break them, break them. Pray that prayer. Begin to break them. Begin to break them. Whatever the enemy has used to tell you that, I say, I break you in the name of Jesus Christ. I break you in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We are going to pray a corporate prayer. For all of us in this region, we are going to declare that sickness will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to declare prophetic declaration that coronavirus will not take anyone from us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to join your faith with me. There is one of our brother in the hospital right now. He's very, very sick. He said that maybe he has one sickness or the other. I don't care what that name of the sickness may be, but you are going to speak and say that brother in the hospital, we declare healing for you. We declare healing for you. You will rise up and you will move in the name of Jesus Christ. Dr. Jesus will visit you right now. Let's pray for as many of our brothers and sisters that are sick, that God will heal them. The Lord will heal them. The Lord will heal them. The Lord will deliver them totally. Pray for them. 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 That God Almighty heal our brethren. Heal our brethren. Send your healing to them. Send your divine healing to our brothers. Send your divine healing to our sisters. That whatever the sickness they are going through right now, the Lord will heal them totally in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will heal them totally in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Before I close this Bible, before I close this prayer section, the Bible says that in verse 4 again, in verse 4 of Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. You are going to pray to God that in this month of February, God will comfort you. Ha, hallelujah. Can I hear amen to that? You will pray to your say, God, please comfort me. No matter the challenges that will come my way in this month, please comfort me. Make a way for me. Let there be mercy that will stand for me. God of mercy, locate me. Locate my home. 
locate my family, locate my children, locate us as a continent in this Middle East. Locate our father in the Lord, Daddy Gio. Locate our mommy Gio. Locate our daddy Sadgo, mommy Sadgo. Let's pray for them. God locate them. Locate Pastor Okewa Boniface. Locate mommy Oluwa Fumi Okewa. Pray for them. Pray for them. And pray for yourself. God locate me. Locate our pastor as you are distributing your blessing. Double blessing in this month of February. Father, please locate us. Please locate us. Please locate us. Holy Ghost, locate us. Don't let us be found wanting. Please locate us. Locate us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, locate us. Please locate us. Tell him to locate us. Tell him to locate you. Tell him to locate every one of us. Father, locate me. Locate me, Gabriel Ayodele Osho. Locate me, Oka. Locate my home. Locate my home. Locate my wife. Locate my children. Locate all our pastors in this region. Locate all our ministers. Locate all our house fellowship members, all our church members. Father, locate us for your divine blessing in this season. Give us a testimony and give us reason to rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to thank you for what he has done tonight. Begin to worship him, begin to exalt him, begin to give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Say, Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we bless you. Daddy, we worship you. No matter what we are going through, I know my tomorrow will be better. I know you will make a way. I know you will surprise me. I know you will do what seems impossible. Father, I thank you. Worship him, exalt him. Give him more glory for what he has done tonight. Praise him, praise him. Just magnify him. Just exalt him. We praise you. We praise you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, our Redeemer. There is no one like you. There will never be any like you. Thank you, Daddy. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Yeah, we lift your name higher. Yeah, we lift your name Ah, yeah, we lift your name. 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 Ah, yeah. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most are hallelujah, yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah, oh, most are, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most are, hallelujah, yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah, oh, most are, yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Father, we thank you. We bless you for this evening. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for your touch. We thank you for your miracle. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you because you are incomparable. We thank you because you have never lost any battle. We thank you because we know and we believe that you, God, you will make a way. Father, we say, blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to call upon you tonight. Thank you for the great and mighty things you have done in our midst tonight. Thank you for answer to our prayer. Thank you because we know there will be testimony as a result of this night's prayer meeting. Daddy, receive our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Savior, because there is no one like you. Thank you, my Redeemer. We bless you. Father, I speak to everyone that have listened to this message tonight and for those who will still listen to it in future, that whatever the situation they find themselves, you will make a way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray the Lord of heaven, whatever door that seems closed for that brother or that sister, I decree that before the end of this week, those doors will begin to open in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I pray for that sister that is listening to me that the business seems that the business is not moving forward. I pray right now in the name that is higher than any other name. Let there be an open door for that business in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, oh God of heaven, most of our brethren that are looking for job or those that are looking for upliftment. I pray, oh God, because the earth is yours and its fullness thereof. Father, please provide a suitable job for them in the name of Jesus Christ. For as many people that are having visa issue in this land of UAE, God of Almighty, let there be a breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you for what you have done. We want to thank you because we know in you there is hope. We know that you will make a way for us. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Redeemer. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in to this service tonight. I want to assure you that God has done something great in your life. Don't lose faith. Believe. And you will see the manifestation of tonight's prayer in your life in the name of Jesus. As you know, this coming Friday promised to be a great time in God's presence. Before the service, we're going to have our Sunday school. We're going to have our workers meeting. And then we go to the proper service whereby uh, some will be through Zoom and then the other will be through uh, Facebook, uh, through YouTube, which is around 12 o'clock where you will listen to the word of God. And I believe as you do so, God Almighty will bless you greatly in Jesus' name. Don't let us also forget our Bible study, which is on Tuesday. And then the next Wednesday promise to be a great time in God's presence. As we come together and worship this God, the God Almighty, he will remember you. He will make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the grace together. One, two, go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of His Spirit be upon us as we go right now in the name of Jesus. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a glorious week. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week.